Carbon containing compounds have the property of burning in the presence of oxygen to produce carbon dioxide, producing heat and light. But the amount of heat generated and light emitted by these compounds vary. Let us look at a few compounds containing carbon and see how they burn and understand what I just said. We need ethanol and camphor tablets. Light a matchstick and set the camphor tablets on fire. Notice that camphor burns with a yellow flame. Now hold a spoon over the flame. You see soot has formed on it. Now light the matchstick and set the ethanol on fire. It burns with a yellow blue flame. Now when you hold the spoon over the flame, no soot is deposited on it. Camphor is a terpenoid containing 10 carbons in its molecular formula. It is represented as C10H16O. As we saw, it burns with a yellow flame and produces huge amount of soot. Now, soot is carbon that does not react with oxygen. Since camphor has huge number of carbon atoms, all of them do not get access to oxygen to form carbon dioxide and they burn in the flame generating light. The ethyl alcohol on the other hand is very light, contains only two carbons per molecule and does not require too much oxygen to burn. It burns completely under normal conditions and hence gives a blue flame. Blue flames emits more heat and less light. Depending upon the number of carbon molecules per molecule, crude oil is refined into petrol or diesel or other oils that require different amount of oxygen to burn and is used under specific conditions in engines especially designed for these fuels.